Are you ready? Uh, Diesel and I are in the geriatric stage. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I would, I, I think, uh, yes, I'm a gay. If I'm, a, it's fine. I get it, it's fine. And I was just like, oh, wang, wang swan gay la. Wang flo say it's a why is he, why? Right. Oh, I'm testing your patience. I'm about to test your patience right now. <laughs> it was just like a, a side profile of him smiling and I was just like <laughs> it's, it's musties, I love it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is me, it is just Katleo. Thank you so much for always choosing me over and over again. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your time, your energy, your monies, all of that. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video is a little, it's a little exciting. And you know, you know when I have when I have the brown juice. It's always a good video, right? So today's video is a little bit exciting. I have a guest in the room. He's sitting right behind you guys. His name is Diesel. Yeah. And when you know, you know. Okay, so I put up a post on Instagram and one on the community tab. And I was talking about how Diesel and I are going to reach two years of our phase two of our relationship at the end of this month which is the end of july as i'm recording this so i was like you know maybe i should do a little q a you know because you know it's, it's, it's hitting two years and it's exciting and it's nice and all of that hoo-ha right so so i'm doing the video he's here right now let me tell you something about diesel okay he doesn't i can't guarantee if he will speak in this video he might he might not he is mic'd up so should he decide to interject he might he, he might not and legal abona there's nothing i can do about that unfortunately uh the one thing that i thought would be cool is that he's in the room and there's some questions that are addressed to him some are addressed to me some are addressed to us both so we'll see if he answers he answers if he doesn't he doesn't let line let line like it so it, it'd be like that sometimes so uh without dilly dallying this video is probably going to be in two parts the first part is going to be on the main space as you are seeing it now and then the second part of the video will be on the membership space there's far too many questions this is the first time that i've actually gotten so many questions for any kind of q a or anything that i'm filming so this is kind of crazy okay also another side note i'm trying out a new mic so if the sound is not as crisp or if it's missing something I'm, I'm still trying it out so just bear with me for this video okay the first question is you ready so the first question is what is the one not so serious annoying habit that he has that i wish he would drop you know <sighs> diesel has this thing right so we we could be sitting watching tv we having our drink whatever the night progresses then diesel starts dozing off on the couch right so here's my issue i i don't have a problem with dozing off on the couch provided that if someone is going to wake you and say bruh let's go to bed you will wake up so he's got this annoying habit where he'll look at me and be like no and re absolutely refuse to go to bed at this point it would frustrate me so much because one wabata, one motu, you know, you can't just be going ulorobala, uliwani, you know, mutuali aduti so thing. Even though I, I I must admit that there was a time where I did leave him there. Probably once or twice. And I was just like, I, I can't, I can't do this. And this thing like everything he says goes that way. It reminds me of a TikTok that I really love, which I will insert here. He literally says something that goes absolutely left. Hey, hey, 
Kuna kundi kwa kasi ya kitu wa suza kwa hui mwoto Mese wakata umshambi kwa hui kapaku umpeti kwa pumi kundwa Lingwa hili angkezi Ukuluma wano ni metifuni chaja Kanto nchini ni metifuni chaja Eee ya nisho ichaja pe ya nisho ichaja Iyo kama mtabe le waka nga hili kuzi ya pana kwa suka mwaka mazami Mese china sabu ya skuli ni singa zangu si waka manzi I don't have a question. I just love you. Thanks, sweetie. I love you too. Okay. I'd like to know what attracted you guys to each other and what is the what is your love languages. So, so I'll speak for myself. Look, the the gent doesn't have to interject all the time. But speaking for myself, what attracted me to Diesel is the she's very good looking. And you know that thing, nah, it's 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 an importance for me, uh, because uh, you want to be able to look at somebody every day and think, "Oh, he mar mar kecheti le man, he, pone bila ko shatu se joa, bila bila wa benya." Since you've been with me, it's just it's just. <laughs> I'm so what are the things that attracted me to him? The first thing is it's always going to be physical, right? He's he's quite good looking, but. Another thing that I find quite attractive is that he's funny. Now, I am attracted to humor. I find that shit sexy. Okay? If you're with somebody who is funny and they get your jokes and they do smart jokes, what's that fellow be funny fella for? And nothing. Got into the basic. You have to have those smart jokes, those dark jokes. So Diesel is quite dark as well. So his humor is actually quite dark too. So that's... It's musties, love it. <laughs> um, uh, shush, shush your face. Um, love languages for me, it's definitely words of affirmation. So I like to be affirmed by Dizzle, okay. But I also like to affirm um, him as well whenever I can. I don't know how often I actually do it, but. You know, but I told him today when he walked in, I was like, man, you look, you look good. You look nice. Words of affirmation, physical touch is also very, 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 it's a thing. Together, I must be close. You know, he, he can't be too far. And diesel is still for He's still for uh, I mean, like physically, he's uh, well, both. <laughs> anyway, so uh, congratulations in phase two. Thank you. How did you guys meet? I mentioned this in uh, the previous relationship Q and A that I did, uh, where I said we met online, and we met online over I don't know, twelve years ago at this point, and uh, we met on WeChat. And let me tell you the meeting story. It was so nice. Maybe Luna ba bang halit bi biche tagya. Luna ba hulu. So we've been around, okay? So we met on WeChat, right? So I think I was I was in his area or something because WeChat does this this um, location thing. Location thing, right? So so I think I was in his area. So then I I just went into it and then I'm like, oh, who's this guy? Oh, that's another thing I find attractive about him. His his smile, okay? So his WeChat profile thing. It was just like a, a side profile of him smiling and I was just like, Dang. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, you know, and then I don't know who texted first or who I think he texted me no, first. And I, yes, yes, he did. And, it and, is. and that it's sh- 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 your face, <laughs> sh- sh- your face. I'm telling the meeting story. Okay. And then I was just like, okay. At that point, I, I really liked to test and see whether somebody it will like you because they like you or they'll like you for what you have right so i teased when we'd been speaking for a couple of days i i i we got to talking about cars which is which is one of his favorite things right and then i sent him a picture of my father's porsche and then i said this is my car and i thought he'd be like oh wow that's nice you know he was like oh that's nice Hi. 
God, you know, no. But at the same time, it was one of the things that actually attracted me to him even more because it showed me that he doesn't care a damn. He would care a damn if I got it now. I can tell you that for free. Anyway, when is Diesel planning to pay Lobola? Amuna, <laughs> how? He's just giving me a really funny look. Okay, uh, do you sometimes visit Diesel's house? Or does he always come to yours? Yes, we we in, we interchange. Wow. If, why are you why why are you this person? <laughs> I don't think Diesel would be cool with coming here every weekend. Uh, we live a distance from each other. We don't live five minutes away from each other. So, yes, Rachinchisan, Okilabona, one week. And besides, we're homeowners. Can't, you can't just constantly be leaving your house vacant. They want so Rachinchisan and stuff. Does Diesel have money? Hey, if he does, I've never seen it. I can t- I can tell you that for free. Una chale the moon. And can think to post that seat belt again. Oh, you sassy! <laughs> Don't know if you guys heard that. If you didn't, I'll write it down here. And if he says things that are not in English, I will write it down here. Um. He said something about a red seat belt. I get it because Le Le Lady Kia, Lady Kia, King Kia, Sir Serato has had had the, the 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 ones after that they had a red seat belt. So I don't know what you what your point is. Right now. Uh-huh. Uh, congratulations, guys. Thanks. Uh, what are the things you as a unit together had to unlearn and relearn about love since the beginning of the relationship till now? Damn, that's a really really good question uh unlearn you know what i think i had to relearn um no 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 i had to unlearn uh being hard and abrasive when it comes to loving someone because i'd been hurt before diesel and i got back together again um i was quite closed off and i was quite crass oops i was quite closed off and i was quite quite crass when it comes to love and what i was hard right um so one of the things that I had to unlearn was was that love should be soft and should be nice and it should flow nicely and all those wonderful things. Um, so I had to relearn that as well. Um, being in the relationship, it helped me quite a lot because when you're with someone who... I wouldn't say Diesel's soft. He ain't. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't say he's soft in the sense, but he's taught me to become softer towards him and towards the relationship as a whole so that that for me was just ah. i'm gonna and answer this on behalf of diesel okay diesel has always had he's always no not always he has also learned to become a little bit softer emotionally because let me tell you when we started phase two oh my god i had a lot to deal with Woo! anywho my I remember patience has yeah. always tested, so I had to learn that. You what? My patience. Oh, I'm testing your patience. Mm. I'm about to test your patience right now. Try me. Okay. I remember uh, asking you a question on Instagram about your relationship, and I thought that I had offended you by asking. Maybe I did, and I apologize, but I'll re-ask it here. Okay. Is he your type? Uh, why would I be offended by that, baby girl? Is he your type, or did he become your type once you got to know him? Ooh. That's a great question. Una. No. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Okay. He is my type. He is my type. Okay. Uh, the only thing is, <laughs> and he'd probably, oh, forget ag- it. Forget it. He'd, he'd probably agree with this one. The only thing is physically at that time, I was looking for a certain kind of type. Do you know what I mean? And then Diesel came along and I was just like, ah. But outside of everything else, he was good looking, he was smart, dark, funny, very, like, all of that stuff. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside of that, he is overall my type. But you can have a, um, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I guess you can't have your cake and eat it too, huh? And then that's right. <laughs> Congratulations on phase two. Thank you, sweetie. I want to know what makes the relationship different now than it was before and what you both do or did 
to ensure that the relationship is sustainable this time around. So what makes it different now than it was before is uh, it's it's more mature now. You've changed. We've grown up. Uh, we've been with other people in between <laughs> phase one and phase two. And I think Dizele um, Bamoherile. So Abona or no, Katla was the one person. Katla was the one person. <laughs> Katla was the one person who always appreciated me. Katla was the one person who always she understood these things, you know. So I think Bam heard it actually. He's the one who hurts them. I'm so good on that thing. Linda, Linda, even me, even me, I felt I succumbed to to being hurt by Diesel in phase one. Gents, hey, be good to Ricky. Anyway, um, so what makes it different now is. What do you always say? What? After God. Fear men. Okay? You see, he watches my videos. <laughs> After God, fear men. Okay? Because D. De- <clears throat> so, but outside of that, we're older now, we're more mature, we deal with things very differently. There's a lot of emotional intelligence that comes into the relationship now. I feel like phase one was great, it was more physical than anything. <laughs> And um but no there was there was fun times too guys, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but now we've changed, we've grown up, uh we've experienced life, you know. So I guess yeah, uh, we're more mature now. We're more mature now. Uh, what do you guys both do or did to ensure that the uh, the relationship is sustainable this time around? I think now we actually give energy, time, money. Because I've always told you guys, uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, love is not enough. Love is not the only thing that will sustain a relationship. I tell you that for free. So right now we give each other time, which is something that Diesel didn't have much of in phase one. Because he didn't achieve a life in your high, so he didn't have time for good sis. Could you imagine someone not having time for me? It's a disgust for me. But either way. Um, so now we actually actively want to devote time, energy, money to experiences, to moments together. Um, so we, we keep at it, you know, you, you try to be constantly active, present. Um, yeah, we, 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 we actually doing a different this time around in the sense that we are more present with regards to each other and what we want for our relationship. Right. It's those relations. It's the, and never mind. <laughs> um, how long were you guys broken up for before the commencement of phase two? And what has been your biggest takeaway from that experience? Over 10 years. So <laughs> it's, it's wild. When I sit and I think about it, I'm just like, we were broken up for over 10 years between phase one and two. And um, what has been the biggest takeaway from that experience? I think we were broken up, but we never lost contact. I had that thing, y'all. I don't care if he's seeing someone. I'm going to text them anyway. <laughs> Diesel is more respectful of the fact that guys go googling. So Diesel will come visit me. Yeah, he'd have these moments in between our in, in during that 10 years of us being apart. So he'd have these moments where he'd be passing through the area or whatever and he'd, he'd call me and he'd say, hey, uh, you home? Can I swing through? And I'd be like, fine, I guess. That time, I'm excited. I'm like, yes. And maybe sometimes you probably find that like I was single at that time. So I'm just thinking, oh my God, this was coming. And oh, hearty. And maybe I might just try something or maybe he might try something and if he does, I'm going to allow it. Would he ever? Never third. He would always come. He would never ask me if I'm seeing anyone. He would never, we would never talk about relationships in our relationships in that, in that uh, uh, 10 year time. Nothing. He would literally just come, come with a bottle of wine. We'd sit, chill. My sister would join us. She'd be like, I don't like Lona. You know, like, 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 she'd be like, oh, for real, like, you guys, you guys are not together, man, for, for real. Did he try to, and I'd be like, nothing. At some point, I doubted myself. I was like, maybe he just doesn't find me attractive anymore. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he's got a different standing story about every time I came in. 
Eh? I better you have a different story every time I came here. What are you talking about? Oh, I better you excuse us so every time I come here, I'm here just to show you cars. That's true. So here's another thing. In between that 10 year period, Diesel decided to change cars like underwear. And every time, every time he would come here, he would come with a different car. And I was just like, oh, wang, wang swanke la. Wang flo seta. Why is he, why every time hata, he's got, hey. And the last one, it's a pity that I can't tell you about the last one. Uh, but if you know red seat belts, you know red seat belts. Ne? But the last one, I didn't know. I didn't know. And he literally, angwala so. He was like, no, it's not the one. It's, guys, anyway. Okay. How do you stay individuals within your relationship and how do you resolve conflict or disagreements now the resolution of conflict and disagreements question i got a lot so i will get into that one uh but how do you stay as individuals i think uh, we always make time for the things that we want to make time for outside of each other so it's it's quite helpful that we don't live in the same house i don't know how it's gonna work once we do but uh, it's quite helpful that we don't live in the same house oops it's quite helpful that we don't live in the same house because then uh we have time when we're in our respective places to just do our own thing uh, i like to read i like to do certain things uh diesel does out other things like breakfast runs <laughs> i'm not gonna mention <laughs> he does other things you know and uh you know we spend time with friends we so we keep that sense of individuality by still doing things that we love to do outside of each other and i think that's quite helpful because then you you miss your 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 partner that when the time comes you're just like okay i've done enough reading okay i'm, I'm trying to have diesel feed me at this point like i want to go out so that he can feed me um so yes conflict resolution this was hard in the beginning i'm not even going to lie uh because as much as we're both introverts we kind of deal with conflict very differently oh. if i'm mad, it's fine i get it, it's fine if i'm mad i i want to do it now i want to address this now i want to but i'm within right now whereas when diesel is mad he needs it's one of the words that come out of his mouth that i hate so much process he likes to say to me i need to i need to take time to process if i'm mad at him about something and i go off and i and i shout and uh, which i do which i do and he doesn't appreciate that about me um but i'll go off right and then he'll be like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i hear you and i'm like so what do you have to say for yourself He's like, no, I need to, I need to process. I hear you. You're just going to leave me like this. Maybe if it's on the phone. He's like, mm-hmm. Shop. And then he hangs up. It's so rude. You're so rude, you dunderhead. <laughs> it's so rude. Um, so we've learned to navigate that with each other. Okay, we deal with conflict and disagreements very differently. Um, so we've learned to approach that with a little bit of kindness. As much as I don't like the fact that Diesel has this thing where he'll have to take time away to process and think about his feelings and whatever, sometimes it, it angers me a little bit more because then he doesn't come back so that we can find a solution or finish. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. So it's iwishiwishi. Like it's something that we're consistently working on um but we've realized to be a little bit more kinder to each other i don't scream and shout as much as i used to in the beginning uh -huh. i was really bad no please don't 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 be that guy <laughs> don't be that guy what's wrong with you bro what is wrong with you i i don't initially i used to scream and shout and then uh he called me to order and he was like uh, -uh. uh what we are not going to do is you speak to me that way so i was just like uh -huh. okay like i found it cute but Okay. Did you both learn each other's love language um, and care for as did you both have to learn each other's love language? It's not it's not okay. I'll 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 say it as how I think she's trying to say it. Did we both learn each other's love languages and learn how to care for each other's needs? 
yes we've had we have very different love languages they're not the same and i think i mentioned this in the previous video that i did where i was speaking about our relationship and um we kind of had to learn that i mean a love language for me is food it's food and i think i've become part of diesel's uh, monthly budget because he knows who at some point over the weekend Cutler's is going to want to step out and have food so uh, we've learned each other's love languages. It wasn't easy um, because it's it's when you are when my love language is uh, words of affirmation, and so when I didn't get that as frequently from him, um, I would kind of you know regress a little bit, feel some type of way, but then you're also a gifter. Don't forget. That. I mean, I I don't I would I I think yes, I'm a gifter. Yeah, sure. But I think it's down there on the list of love languages. Mm, I think no, the first... No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, but it's not the top two, though. Yeah, it's the top seven, yes. <laughs> There's only five. five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Danda. <laughs> Diesel's love language, I think, is... Uh, damn. I said it in the previous video. I'm <laughs> just now not it's sure it's anymore. It's all five of them. Yeah? It's all five of them. It's such a lie. You're such a liar. How can it be? Well, it probably is. I don't. I. I, I don't know you. You are wired differently to yeah, other people. Right. <laughs> okay. How did you guys meet? I explained that. Who said I love you first? Definitely not me. That's so rude. Yeah, it, it was probably me. <laughs> In truth, I mean, to be honest, I don't remember, I, but it was probably. Yeah. I do. It was you. Where was I? Where were we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> very compromising we we're very we're in a compromising position and apparently i said i love you first i am inclined to believe this because i love you yet diesel doesn't come out all the time diesel loves through his actions and what he does and all of that so that's his display of love and affection because he's not the nicest guy to other people no mm. So I get to see a certain side of him. Um, he's a nice guy, guys. Don't get me wrong. Eh? He's a nice guy. It's just that you don't just play up top here with Diesel. That's, that's, that's basically what I'm saying. Um, so yes, I probably said I love you first. Are you dating to marry? Nope. I tell you that for free. I am planning to date. Diesel, it's like a, it's like a season. Yeah, it's like a season. I think once I get to, you know, maybe maybe give it another year or two, and then I think we're gonna need a break again. <laughs> we'll try again. Sounds like a rental agency. <laughs> Are you waiting to buy what? <laughs> <laughs> what is your greatest quality or strength? My greatest quality or strength that he thinks that I overlook about myself. Um, I don't think I'm smart. Okay, so I don't think I'm as smart as he believes that I am. Because he's always saying, but you're smart. And I'll always be like, yeah, no, you're smarter than me. It's not easy for me to admit such things, <laughs> but he is. I think he's brain smart, right? But socially awkward. What? Yeah, you know, you're not, you're not for the streets. You're not for the street smarts. You know, okay. you're brain smart. You're here, and you're within. My streets are very different from yours. Oh, please, just go somewhere. Okay, you don't even go here. Um, uh, I just love how he loves you. Are you even sure he loves me? <laughs> Let's start there. I think he likes me. I think most days he just tolerates my ass. Okay. What do they say? Say nothing. <laughs> the truth shall set you free. Uh huh. And the truth is, I think most days he just tolerates me. Okay? But until... That's rude. Rudo. No, Rudy. I'm fine. Sharp Rudolph. Sharp. How good are they? How good are they? How does he or both of you uh, keep from being petty in arguments? Diesel's never petty in arguments. He just doesn't argue. Un unless it's something really serious. I'm petty. I'm very petty. 
<laughs> I could just start something like last night. <laughs> I started something where there was nothing to start, to be honest. And personally, I don't remember it because I was a little zaraz, you know. But I tend to be the petty one. I am definitely Miss Petty. Miss Peggy Petty is me. And um, I love that about me. We love that about me. Do you think he's the one? I mean... <sighs> you know, I think I think the one would need to be defined. Um, the one would need to be defined so that we understand who, what is it that constitutes for somebody to be the one. No. <laughs> I I believe so. I believe so. Uh, I I think so. I'm definitely not his one, but Oksala is singular. Get in. Get in. He likes a girl called Boosie. And if if Boosie um uh wants him back, if she came, I I would be thrown out into the dust. I would eat dust. Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> did you introduce him to your kids? How did you feel about meeting my children? They suck. I don't have any kids. <laughs> um, how has it been since you started dating? Has he made a positive impact in your life or are things absolute that one is a no brainer, absolute positive impact in my life. And it's grown steadily, you know, ever since the, the, the beginning of phase two all the way up until where we are now. So in so many aspects, it's been great. I've learned about myself. I've learned about how I am as a, a unit with him. I've learned so much about. Anyway, so I, yeah, I learn, I, I, I've learned a lot about myself because of, uh, D. <laughs> You're welcome. thank Um, how do you both keep the spark in the relationship? Man, that thing died a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, like, Let's go get the crutches. <laughs> yeah, I feel like at this point, uh, Diesel and I are in the geriatric stage of our I think Diesel and I are in the geriatric stage. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, we keep the spark alive by t doing the things like being present and being active and having conversations with each other about the things we both love. We share a common love for cars. So Diesel has gotten me into yours is much more advanced than mine. Okay, your love for cars. But I do love cars. He knows that. I don't even know why he's giving me the eye. I don't even go here but he's introduced me to certain youtube channels because he knows that i spend time on youtube quite a lot of time on youtube so he's introduced me to matt and yanni baby i have a crush on yanni anyway if you know you know Kawao. wow if you know you know um so he's he's introduced me to to certain things um you know yeah so we keep the spark alive by just Choosing each other every time. What? We will not talk about the other guy. Robert Downey. No. Who's the other guy? No, actually, for this channel, no. Who's the other guy? Uh -huh. Just, just give me a, a mouth movement. I don't know. Just spell it. Oh, guys, <clears throat> I can't say his name, unfortunately, <laughs> but there's a South African gent. That I <laughs> and a diesel knows Hore if that guy called. Jungoba, if Diesel would go to Busi. Let me tell you how Diesel likes um Kima go him sali um ratang u oporanya now. Diesel likes Megan Good and he likes uh uh Tuso Mbedu. He likes he likes her. La bona or gi different jo ngo ba sa dibao la e bona marata bai and then you're going to think go ke type ya diesel i'm not his type i'm not officially its type but it's fine lena there's a chance welcome and e ke gola ho ke neng neng ke le strateng ke tlokopana le yena and once he locks eyes with me 
<laughs> he refuses for me to say his name. So how did you come up with the pseudonym Diesel? So if you haven't been watching this channel that long, you wouldn't know how Diesel came about. But Diesel came about because he was... <sighs> His favorite brand of sneakers, one of his favorite brands of sneakers is Diesel. And he's he's got quite a few pairs, right? So now, every time he would come to the house, the first time I saw him when phase two was about to commence, he was wearing Diesel sneakers. And I, I, I kind of teased him about it and said that they look like denim and all of that. Anyway, so then, then we started, you know, spending time together because he fell in love with me again. Um, so we started spending time together and I'd see him in diesel sneakers all the time like even when he come visit my family family events and stuff he just rock up in a different diesel sneaker so at some point I remember we were having breakfast it was me him and Dineo my best friend and uh, I I said to him oh, yeah, nah, I don't even know why you're not buying me any diesel sneakers nyara, nyara. and then I remember going on the phone and I saw a particular diesel sneaker and I said oh I like this one because it looks like all stars you remember because it looks like converse and two days later <clears throat> it walked into my house actively <laughs> that's the best thing you've ever done for me the rest is he an alpha male do I like alpha males I'm an alpha female so you you bet your bottom bet your bottom dollar he's an alpha male and I love alpha males because as alpha females we don't want to feel like we constantly have control over 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 relationships and and partners and all of that we're, we're already just strong and independent and all of that just the, we just go we want to have a relationship in man feel soft that's and be treated softly yes I was going to say uh, that's why hyenas are there that's why what hyenas are there yes exactly what have been some of your happiest moments together oh there's too many to count uh but one that always stands out is our trip last year for me that we had the <laughs> lots of things happened on that trip <laughs> Lots of things happened on that trip, but it was just fantastic. From start to finish, we were mad at each other. I was mad at him when we were coming back, Pettyville. You know what I'm saying? And Diesel has this thing. It's a story time. Diesel has this thing. He does not eat in his car. He doesn't want anyone eating or drinking. If you're drinking anything, you're drinking water. Water. That's it. So when we were coming back from this trip last year, uh... I was mad at something. I don't know. Oh, I won't say why I was mad. I won't say why I was mad. But something happened while we were driving back and I got mad. Pettyville came out and I was just like, actually, let me piss him off to no end. And I took out a bag of crisps. And you know, when you do it in slow motion, take out a bag of crisps, you're like. And he, he couldn't say a damn thing. <laughs> say anything because he knows that i was right about what i was mad about but yeah 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 so that was that was that was uh that trip was a happy moment um we have a spot uh uh, uh in joburg that we go to that i'll i'll never mention it's just our spot like we go there we love the food there Every single time I'm there with him, I am at my happiest. And I think he already knows Liana Hore. <sighs> if he wants to make a good impression, he'll always take me there. Um, so there's lots of happy moments, man. Like even just private moments we have together when we're in the house and laughing and all of that. So there's, there's just a lot of happy moments together. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Diesel? Um, smart. But I think... I think it's the dark humor, the smart, the funny, but the biggest thing for me is that um, he's got a nice ass and um, sorry, emotional intelligent. That is one of my favorite things about my partner. 
I've never been with someone who is as emotionally intelligent as Diesel, ever, ever. So that speaks volumes because I'm quite emotionally intelligent, but I'm not as intelligent as he is because I tend to go to Pettyville, right? You know what I'm saying? I tend to let my emotions take control sometimes, um, but then he'll always bring me down to size, which, which, which is nice. It's really nice to be with someone who, who, um, uh, exhibits emotional intelligence um, in that way, so it's one of my favorite things. Cat, when can we see Mr. D? I ain't even finna lie to ya, never. On I let this thing, yaore, cause I would even say to him like mid conversation, I say to him, Ore, bro, okay, what what happens when we get married? And 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 uh, uh, I'm a content creator, and you know there's a union and maybe i want to add he's like mm -mm, not on your youtube channel no so i'm still trying to convince him otherwise it might change it might not but he he's quite no, very steadfast about that not changing yeah, what? <laughs> so uh lucky to those who see me when i'm with him in the streets on the streets because then he doesn't mind and he'll smile and he'll take pictures and whatever but uh, you seeing him, at least now you've heard him, which is which is nice. I never thought that he'd say anything. I'm actually quite surprised myself. But um, um, seeing his face, nah, guys, I don't even want to lie. Y'all ain't going to see Diesel's face. And it's not of my choosing. Actually, it is. Lynn, I've always said, hooray, I'm never going to show him on here. So.